Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 11th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, no major solar flares to report since yesterday. After that pretty sizable M-class flare shot off from the cresting region, this is all incoming. Also observing a lot of plasma dancing around here on the left-hand side, looking at the incoming imagery the last 48 hours. A little Earth to scale is quite amazing to know and be aware of. Some pretty active regions coming in right now, highly visible on the multi-spectrum. Looking at outgoing imagery here. Left-hand side, you can see that dark line on the sun that is still a large plasma filament rope stretching across the northern hemisphere. Looking at multi-spectrum over the last 48 hours of events and our solar x-ray flux remains in B range. Firing off one more small C-class flare but definitely watching this cresting region very active. And as well southwest region of our sun Lots of activity in the heliosphere. Looking at 193 angstroms, showing the darkened regions, which are coronal holes. This is turning into an Earth-facing position now, so we can expect that to come, and most likely encoupled with the CME blast from the M-class solar flare. And that is visible on the ISWA space prediction spiral, and that's coming right up after this amazing imagery of our sun today and I want to take a moment and thank everybody for tuning in please if you enjoy this video and all the information shared here with daily events smash that like button share with your friends and family another closer look here at that large m-class solar flare firing off from the cresting region of our sun this active sunspot is turning in for an earth facing a few days Again, much love and God bless humanity. Quick look at our ISWA space prediction spiral showing that CME blast taking off right at us. That's right. And we will be seeing that. Looks like the 13th into the 14th. So within 36 to 48 hours. Give Mercury a little glancing blow, but it's coming right at us. Looking at our real-time solar wind right now. Sitting at 374 kilometers per second. It's the highest it's been in a few days. After everything calmed down. Had a small jump there earlier this afternoon. 368. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, remains in B-class range. Small C-class flare just recently. And a one overnight. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Schumann resonance for today. A low power of 15. Quick look at the telemetry from the Schumann resonance. So amplitude of 15, quality of 7.4, a power of 8. Now let's get to earthquakes here as we're sitting at about 190 earthquakes across the USGS map. But some interesting and rare earthquakes popping off today. 5.6 started out early this morning. In Georgetown, St. Helena, that is an island right in the mid-Atlantic. As well, a 5.6 earthquake ringing in the mid-Atlantic. So about seven pretty sizable earthquakes there through the region. As well, a 5.0 here reported in Mauritius, Reunion Island, just east of the island, right on the fault line though. 4.3 reported in Turkey as well as 4.2 here in Uzbekistan, 24 kilometer depth. And very quiet across the Philippines and Pacific plate right now. Too quiet for my liking, expecting something big here soon. No deep earthquakes to talk about. Well, really deep, only 184 kilometer depth. But normally we have some deep earthquakes through that region. Nothing right now. As well, reporting a 5.7 here, Bellany Islands region. That was right around the same time as the 5.6 in Georgetown. 
as well as 5.4 here, Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. So yeah, the plates are moving today across the world, it seems. Just waiting for the Pacific plate to maybe pop open. Largest through South America, 4.8 there, Calama, Chile, as well as 4.2 reported in south of Panama, Puerto Rico, back to minor activity, as well as 4.9 here to report in Rick Jane's Ridge. And we had a new volcano awaken on the Iceland. Looking across North America, not much to report there. No major swarms to talk about. Let's have a look at the last seven days across the planet. We've seen some sizable activity as of late. Today, anyway. Mid-Atlantic Ridge, very active the last 24 hours. And way too quiet, as I said, through Philippines plate into the Indian plate. I think China is stealing a lot of the energy. And that is across the world for the past seven days for earthquakes. If you ever want to check out the earthquake live stream, there is one going 24-7. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Tornado warnings through Topeka, Kansas, and as well Omaha, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, another tornado warning there. Kansas City, Missouri. Here we are looking for volcanoes. Nevada, the rules, Colombia, Bulusan, and Philippines, Sabancaya, Peru, Raventador, and Ecuador, Krakatoa, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Semis Napochnoi, United States, Shevaluch, Russia, Sangay, Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Nevada, the Chilean, Colombia. And then this new one here in Iceland that awakened two days ago, apparently. Southern parts of Iceland right here. I can't even pronounce the word, the name of it, but it is an Iceland, Iceland volcano that has awakened. And that is a very active day for volcanoes for the Pacific Disaster Center. Just reported about 14 getting updated today amongst the 52 that are still erupting across the planet quick look around the world at satellite imagery showing a lot of cloud cover across australia and as well india thailand up into myanmar and across indonesia and now developing over southeast asia over russia big system developing there stormy conditions starting to move through parts of Central Europe with that low in the Mediterranean. And some interesting developments here across the U.S. and Canada over the next five days. Let's have a look at the weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Dilly Events Worldwide. Big system here developing in the long range to Wednesday right across the prairies, a big low invading the area. Let's watch the forecast roll in here as the system comes from the West Coast through parts of Washington and Oregon. And that is tomorrow that will come in, bringing a lot of rain, scatter showers across and thunderstorms, and especially through parts of North and Central United States. As two lows develop surface lows, you could have some very extreme weather. And then look at this, Tuesday into Wednesday, this big low pressure system grinds up into Alberta, bringing days upon days of rain. And straight across Manitoba, Saskatchewan as another low moves in. So extreme weather event on your doorstep across the Canadian prairies. Heads up everybody, you're going to see some pretty extreme weather and a lot of rain. So heads up my Canadian friends, please share this with your video with all your friends through the prairies as we've got some pretty big systems heading your way. Big low pressure center heading out through the east coast of Atlantic. And then overlooking South America, no major changes coming, but I wanted to point out here, we've got some pretty intense low pressure systems developing through Southern Mexico, 
to Pacific lows there developing and they could encroach right up into the Gulf of Mexico again and it looks like they will maybe even join forces here for the Gulf for the long range. Heads up folks because this could change by the day. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Much love everybody and no fear here. God bless humanity. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.